delicious and healthy bagels that only consist of two main ingredients. They're dairy free, they're gluten free, they're obviously vegan and they are extremely healthy. So if you are eating a clean and healthy diet, then these are ideal. I'm gonna get straight into this week's video because I know you wanna know how I make these. Quickly before I do guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It supports me as a creator and keeps me bringing content like this for you guys. So please take the time to do so and let's get into this week's video. Okay, so you're gonna grab a mixing bowl, make sure it's a little bit bigger because you need to mix it with your hands and you don't want it over spilling. And the first thing you're gonna need is some flour. So I don't use regular flour because it's just not good, not that great for you. And if you know and you follow me over on Instagram, you know I'm a huge fan of buckwheat. It's gluten free, it's not actually a wheat. I think it's a seed. It's a grain-like seed quite similar to quinoa. I've actually made this one myself. So I had the actual buckwheat and then I popped it into my blender because that blender is very good. It's a Vitamix blender and it turns it into flour. So I've made that flour myself. So we've got one cup of buckwheat flour here. So I'm gonna pop that into the mixing bowl. And then the second ingredient is coconut yogurt. So this is the one I like to use. It's from the Coconut Collaborative. I only use their sort of unflavored one. This is their natural one. So I'm gonna need one cup of the coconut yogurt. You need to give the coconut yogurt a bit of a mix. Made a bit of a mess, but there we have one cup of coconut yogurt. And that goes in with the flour, the buckwheat flour. So that's the two main ingredients, the buckwheat flour and the coconut yogurt. And then I add in some bicarbonate of soda, just a teaspoon to help it raise in the oven while it's baking. And then I add a bit of Himalayan salt. A nice pinch of the Himalayan salt. And then it's time to mix it. And you need to use your hands. So I'm gonna remove my rings because it's a bit of a messy job. And you need to just start folding the yogurt and the flour together. And uh, it will come together and you'll get dough basically. messy job but eventually the dough will get to that and your hands will be like that. I actually needed to add a bit more flour so make sure that you have a little bit extra flour. I used another sort of quarter cup um, into this. The yogurt was very wet so just keep some extra flour just in case to use. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna come back and roll these out. So I'm gonna make four bagels out of this. So I'm gonna cut the dough into four pieces. And then you grab each piece and you basically roll it. And then connect it at the end like this to form a bagel shape. And then place it on a baking tray. rolled up your bagels and pop them on the baking tray you can see mine are a little bit all over the shop the door went and I had dough on my hands and it threw me off so I have all different sized bagels but it's totally fine so now we need to glaze the bagel so I've got some coconut oil it's raw cold pressed make sure that it is and I just use my finger I warm it up with my finger it's the easiest way make sure your hands are clean obviously I just rub it over the top of the bagel, like that. And then the last step is to grab some seeds. So I've got some sesame seeds and some poppy seeds, and just to sprinkle them over the top of the bagels. I like a lot of seeds, so make sure I really cover them. You wanna preheat your oven at 180, and then you wanna leave these in for 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love eating warm bagels. So you need to let these sit for a good 10-15 minutes to cool down. And once you have, you can slice them open and fill it with whatever you like. I filled mine with 
Fire Life's Philadelphia and Sprouts and I absolutely cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> to watch this week's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you try this recipe because it is well worth it it's absolutely delicious and it's so healthy you can eat these absolutely guilt free don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and i'm over on instagram as well it's at honestly alessandra you can find me over there sharing many more recipes and loads of other plant-based sustainable stuff so come say hey and until next week guys stay safe and stay healthy bye guys Thank you.